Coming live from Merida, Mexico, this is Amputee Adventures. Well, buenos dias, everybody. Um, reason I haven't been out doing videos lately is because my, my hands are inflamed. This one is infected. And, uh, yeah, the pain, pain level is this the the it's probably a nine eight or nine on a scale of ten uh most pain i've had since i've been here in merida um and i figured i would uh, take it make a video of uh, what this pain is um here's a picture of uh the hands what it looks like Yeah, so I figured I'd uh, show you what my day is like, what how I deal with things. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, this camera is uh, picking everything up. But uh, yeah, this is the day in my life. So why it's hurting so much, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it hurts. So and this causes pain with. This hand, well, I already have to deal with this sore as well, but creates more pain, and then my my foot hurts. So, yeah. Ah. Um. See, I'm taking uh, some medicines. Um, I'm not even sure if you can even see over here, but uh, yeah, this is my workstation. All my different medicines I have, computer stuff, mezcal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, this is a day in my life. A lot of times when um, the pain sets in, I just I just can't go out. Thank God uh, they have Uber Eats here uh, and Shadrawi. Shadrawi is the uh, grocery store they do delivery. Like <coughs> so yeah, I think I did a, when I first moved in here, did a good my place. Um, Two hands to use it. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, a friend of mine. Uh, a friend of mine is bringing over some uh, medicine. Um, cool. I ain't going anywhere. Anywhere. Gracias, amigo. Uh, a friend of mine is uh, going to drop off some medicine, some cookies. Uh, they seem to help a lot. Uh, the marijuana infused cookies. I'm used to the pain, uh, so tomorrow we'll be fine. He said, yeah, he may be able to drop it off this evening, so cool. Either way, uh, it'd be nice to have him, but uh, yeah, I'm used to it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, this is my place. Uh, and how I get around it, I'm in my wheelchair, as you can see. Uh, but it, um, yeah, my my leg off. It, uh, when I don't have to 
need it, it is uncomfortable uh, having it on. Is this over here? It's uncomfortable having it on, so uh, when I don't need it, I kick it off. So yeah, this is uh, my place. Right there. Uh, not used to going backwards. Yeah, sunny day. Uh, it was uh, raining earlier. If you can see that over there. Crowds okay. going by. And out the front. Yeah. And then a different angle. This is my other workstation, my other laptop computer. Snacks. <laughs> and one of the best things I've had out here is one of these uh, mosquito rackets. It's uh, rechargeable. Where the ones on the stage, you don't have rechargeable, you have battery operated ones. But this one has a plug in that comes up, flips out there. So it's a 110 outlet and it recharges. And yeah, when the mosquitoes come out here, it is fun. There's none out right now. There was earlier. What was bothering me? I heard it. Picked that up and just went like this and whack. Got him. So, um, yeah. I get uh, my nice view of uh, the cactus outside here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, this is what I see. I see the uh, cactus out there and. Uh, my other neighbor's place there, but then it has some yucca plants down in there. And then that's the, uh, I can see a little bit of the sky, so I can see what uh, it looks like outside. That's the stairways that go up there. Uh, <laughs> the pain has uh, subsided a bit. Probably down to a, like six, seven. Um, uh, not much else that I can do. I've, I've tried other things. I've put uh, uh, ground up some cocaine, very finely ground up, and, and put it into the wound. It had some pain relief, but not much. I've tried using uh, a meal, uh, honey infused with uh, mushrooms. Uh, I've tried it infused with uh, cannabis. Uh, putting it as a polis uh, didn't help. I tried it also used it in kind of like an olive oil, a mineral oil. tried using the big fan leaves of marijuana plants. Um, using that as a, a polis, if you will, uh, put some in a mortar, grind it up, um, and, and the stem part especially it has a lot of the juices in there. Uh, where I grind it into a, a mulch type thing and put it right onto the wound and then wrap it and leave it on there. Um, and nothing, uh, nothing seems to, to work at the moment except uh, amputation. And I don't want to go to that route if I don't have to. That's the last ditch effort. Um, so yeah. A few years ago, a friend of mine asked me, he said, well, why don't you just, you know, if it hurts so much, just get it cut off. And I said, well, it, if you cut it off, it, uh, uh, I said, when I had this amputated, my leg, uh, as you can see, it's right at the, about in the shin area. Uh, it was, uh, the foot was gangrene, they said, pretty much, uh, you know, I've never said this, but said, uh, 
went to the surgeon, first meeting with him, very first meeting. Uh, he said uh, he does, it was a Wednesday, he said he does Thursdays, uh, surgeries, every Thursday. He said if it wasn't so late in the day, Wednesday, when he first saw me, that he would have scheduled me for the next day. Uh, but I had to wait a week. And he said, yeah, uh, you don't get this cut off soon. Uh, you will die. And that was, oh, okay. Uh, and he gave me a 40% chance of healing. Uh, did below the knee amputation. He said, if we go above the knee, uh, it's at 50%. And I said, well, 10% uh, increase. Um, let's go for the 40% and I'll do everything you tell me. So, yeah. Um, so it was, uh, thank God it, uh, it healed. He was a fantastic surgeon. Uh, he's out of Marshall. Uh, Marshall, Michigan, uh, Oak Lawn Hospital it is where, uh, well, he did the surgery, but he's out of uh, Marshall or uh, Battle Creek. Um, great surgeon. Um, and yeah, so that's this disease sucks, it does not stop. Uh, I have looked, again, uh, no other breakthroughs or uh, anything like that. They are regrowing veins, that's about it. Uh, they've tried different uh, pain medicines on me. They've, they've tried, uh, uh, it was um, gabapentin, that was it, uh, used for anti depression or something like that. Uh, but they found it, or amnesia or an Alzheimer's, something, but it, they found it used, uh, the use was for, uh, could also be used for a pain relief. And I read it, it said it was a 3% reduction. Uh, and I tried it, and it did not work for me. Uh, it gave me crazy freaking dreams. But uh, uh, they said, uh, yeah, okay, well, we'll take you off of the VF. Yeah, we have to wean you off of it because if you, because they built me up to 900 milligrams per, per day. Uh, started at 300 to 600 to 900. I said, yeah, if you uh, just stop, you could have epileptic seizures. And I said, what? And I said, okay, yeah, I'm not going to do any more of those things that you say are not epileptic. Anyways, yeah, uh, bad side effects if you just wean yourself off. Not epileptic seizures. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, I've stopped taking anything that uh, doctors prescribe. They even wanted to try to put me on Viagra to see about the circulation. <laughs> I said, are you an idiot? Uh, Viagra will just blow up the veins even worse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but uh, yeah, okay, I'll just uh, stick to holistic type of medicine. So, uh, yeah, when I don't go out doing videos, uh, what I do is um, a lot of times doing research on uh, stories uh, about this disease, anything that helps with it. I also do a, a show on every Saturday, as most of you know, and look up different news stories. So I, I uh, look through the different seven news stories I have available. You know, most of them are like uh, AP News, uh, Yucatan Times, Yucatan Magazine, uh, Mexico Daily Post, uh, different, um, and then a different couple of uh, the, the, a couple different Hispanic, uh, Spanish newspapers and news sources. So. And it, it tells all the news that uh, you guys
guys up in the States don't usually hear about. You, know, you hear about the, the, a lot of negative things, uh, cartels, drug cartels, uh, what's the latest thing they put up? Five, 50 million or $5 million bounty on the uh, um, El Chapo's sons. And I'm thinking, you guys, <laughs> the United States, that's sanctioned uh, executions, you know, uh, uh, assassins, assassinations, sanctioned assassinations. I said, wow, these governments are going crazy, so anyways, we're not even going to get into that. Um, yeah, uh, usually I'll just go and see, let's see what's going on today. Let's see, uh, no, noticia yaketan. AMLO, what's he talking about? President Ferdinand has uh, um, consulting with the president. So, uh, if, uh, if they re refuse to revoke, citizens can consult with the president. Hmm. Doesn't make sense. Some of the headlines, it says, uh, if they refuse to revoke, Citizens can consult, says the president. Uh, lost in translation. Let's see. What did they? But for hours, there, 24 hours, there would be white smoke in Morena. Uh, Guatemala migrants. Uh, Killed in Chiapas are buried. Okay. Yeah, that was the uh, uh, accident they had on the roadway a week ago. So, uh, let's see. Yucatan's climate, cold front 14. Uh, we'll bring it. Bring a drop. Bring a drop. That's a, a, a reduction in, in temperatures. Okay, that's what that means. Uh, my reading of Spanish is good, but it's just lost in translation. Let's see. Uh, Confirm it. But let's see the cases of Omicron. Quito. Uh, um, so, here, uh, where is this at? Didn't say exactly where, but uh, they've uh, uh, detected Omicron here in Mexico. 23 cases, uh, uh, symptom uh, mild, mild symptoms is what they're saying. Mexico City, Ciudad de Mexico, okay, in Mexico City, so. nothing here in Yucatan, so yeah, I just do my research, I uh, talk about different news stories that's coming out, anything that's worth reading uh, or passing along, uh, I don't do the fear uh, mongery that uh, they already have that, if you want that, you can go CNN, so. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pain has subsided, thank goodness. Pain sucks, weed helps. It's probably down to, uh, I don't know why. Yeah, so I'm still smoking cigarettes. Marlboro Rojo, Memphis. Pretty cheap, so, uh, anyways. Yeah, this is the page I'm, I'm looking at. Let's see, can you see it? See right there. You can read that, can't you? Yeah, there's all my news stories. Kitana Ru. Skating medallions are harvested. 
It's uh, the Quintana Roo skating uh, team one. Um, yeah, not much in the news here. So yeah, so uh, let's kick on the leg. I gotta put it in place. Ugh. There we go. Clicks into place. See what's going on outside. All right. Beautiful sunny day up there. I try to, when I, even though I can't get out there and do things, I do like to put my leg on and take a few steps at least. Getting some exercise. Uh. Oh, see, this is how they do it for trash people. There's no uh, trash cans people put out. They just put out uh, bags of trash outside. And the trash men come and pick it up. Like there's some right there probably. Yeah. Like we have our, my neighbor put some trash out. I usually hang it up on top on that hook so the gatos, the cats don't get to it. But yeah. Ah, beautiful day out. Hook. Sometimes I'll sit out here at this table, have my computer set up here. Luckily, it has a nice outlet there, so I have my computer and everything set up here. I have the garage door open, uh, especially on Mondays when I'm waiting for my my water delivery. Yeah, it's the major road that goes by here with buses. And even has the bus that goes to Progresso that stops here. I want to say it's it's uh, like 150 pesos or something like that. Or you can take the limousine one for more if you want. But Or I think that is the limousine one. Anyways, let's go back inside. So, let's kick the leg off. Mm. Mm. The uh, foot, this one, has been hurting. It's the the. It's just been hurting. I'm coming to the realization I may have to have another amputation on another leg. I need to, uh, you know, I don't quit. I don't give up. Uh, but it may be, it may mean uh, I have to leave Mexico to have that done. Unfortunately, he yeah, had this Omicron thing going on to where uh, hospitals are filled up for everything else. Yeah, um, coming to that realization that uh, that may have to happen here soon. So, yeah, change is coming. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all your support and all your comments. And if you would like, buy me a taco. Have a great day.